What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tamara if it is your first time here. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys how we put together our proposal boxes for our bridal party. Um, DJ and I finally booked our venue and everything is set in stone. We have a date, so it is time to hand out these boxes. I've been sitting on these for months because COVID-19 just threw a wrench in everything, honestly. But we finally got everything together. I got all my components from my box and I wanted to share it because when I was looking for inspiration I couldn't really find anything everything kind of just looked the same everything was girly and pink all of the components inside of the box were pretty much the same um, all of the men boxes were rustic and just kind of slapped together and I wanted something a little bit more chic a little bit more universal across the board and so I took to Instagram and I follow this blogger named Courtney Agbatola, Green Eyes Gold Soul on Instagram. Um, she has a blog and on her blog she shared what she put in her um, proposal boxes. Loved. So pretty much I just went to her blog, followed her links that she left and remixed the box into my own. Um, she kind of did like a little hangover kit in hers because she gave hers out closer to her um, bachelorette party weekend, whatever. But since I didn't do that, I'm giving mine out really early. Um, Mine are a little bit different. Um, my boxes turned out to be a little bit more sentimental, but um, yeah, I loved her boxes. So all the credit goes to her because I followed her links and just clicked around until I found what I liked. As far as DJ's boxes, I just showed him things and let him pick whichever one he liked and the most affordable um, choices. And he just kind of gave me the go ahead, told me to do my thing and he ended up really liking them. So. I'm going to show you what we chose and hopefully you like it. Disclaimer, this is not a spoiler. Everyone has already received their boxes. I'm pre-recording this, obviously. Um, but yeah, I hope you get some type of inspiration from this. If you are looking to create boxes of your own for your bridal party or just gift boxes, girl weekend boxes, birthday things. I am a Delta. This would be great for... Um, one of our gatherings we like to have christmas parties sometimes so this would be a cool little box to put together with a couple of gifts inside of it so you can get inspiration to do anything with these boxes honestly but we just happen to use them to propose to our bridal party so enough of my chatter please like comment and subscribe this video um subscribe this video subscribe to my channel share this video with something you love and i'll see you in the next one bye all right, y'all, so I got these decals made by my coworker. She makes all kinds of decals, tumblers, and cool cups and things like that. I'll leave her Facebook and Instagram down below. But she made these decals for me, and I thought they would have been a little bit bigger to place in the center of the box. But my line sister suggested that I place them down in the corner, and they actually look really good right there. So that's where I left them. Um, you just peel off the back, press it down, and use some type of card to just press it down into the box. And yeah, I did gold for the guys and rose gold for the girls just to kind of keep it somewhat cohesive in the gold family, but create a gender difference, you know. Okay, so a lot of the pieces of our boxes came from Etsy, including these cards that I found for DJ and his groomsmen. Um, they're all personalized with their names and they say, will you be my groomsman on them? And on the inside, he wrote little notes to them. And um, I got the same cards for my bridesmaids and my maid of honor. Um, two different Etsy shops though, but mine were gold, rose gold, and I wrote long love letters to them on the inside. The glasses are another Etsy find, just personalized with all of their names on them. These are actually like a hard plastic, so if they drop, they will not break. And then for the groomsmen, I got little um, flasks with their initials carved in, and these are matte. So the only thing you see kind of like fingerprints on them, if they get 
can you see my fingerprints on the back because my hands are sweaty but these are really really great quality and they were only about eight dollars all right so the boxes came from amazon and when they came all they came with was the filler paper so basically i just took them in sections and balled them up and then threw them back in the box and fluffed it out to have it take its shape um i tried doing it in like little small sections but ain't nobody got time for that just ball them up and throw them in the box and fluff them out and it'll be just fine so at this point I was pretty frustrated because um, COVID-19 was keeping me from getting all the rest of the things I wanted to put in my bridesmaid boxes so um, I'm kind of just showing you what I thought would have been the end but shortly after they released the stay at home DJ and I were able to view our venue and we booked it so I went ahead and added some save the date cards um, I just made them on my phone on the Fonto app and um, printed them off on some thick like invitation paper and cut them out circled our date and put them into the boxes These weren't meant to be anything too fancy either just something for them to have like a hard copy of when our wedding will be because um, you know people forget and these retail on Etsy for way too much money so I just decided to make my own then I went to Target and I found this filler paper I thought it was really pretty because it was pink and then it had the little metallic looking pieces in there and I decided to stuff those in the glasses hindsight the font is pink, the filler paper is pink, so you can't see their names, but hopefully, you know, they'll realize, they'll take the filler paper out and they'll see that their name is on the glass. But I just went ahead and stuffed that into all of the glasses and the remaining pink filler paper, I just threw those into their boxes as well. Okay, so originally I wanted to have champagne gummy bears in these boxes, but I didn't have access to those, so I went ahead and ordered these bath bombs from Lush. Everyone got the same bath bomb, and um, I found these clear gift bags at Target for about 2 or $3, and it came with the twine, so I just dropped a bath bomb in the bag, closed it up, and shoved them in the boxes. Um, I actually really like Lush bath bombs, so worked out well this is actually a shower bomb um, for people who don't have a shower or who don't like taking bubble baths
All right, y'all, that's pretty much it for these boxes. Um, the men boxes look a little bit plain, but that's what DJ wanted, so I respected his wishes. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you get some type of inspiration. I'll try to leave all the links to the shops and things I put in this box down below. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with somebody you love. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.